Okay, so in the previous videos we looked at the grouping of plants and animals, classifying organisms, and then the Latin scientific name. So we're going to look at adaptations now. And adaptations are split really into two main categories. We've got the morphological and we've got the behavioural. Now the morphological are just the physical features that an animal has. So certain shaped ears, fur to be camouflaged, fur to keep warm, the presence of a wing, the ability to swim, having a gill or a lung, the physical features. Behavioural are how animals act or behave. So they're things like migration, hibernation, um, the ability to come out and hunt at night time, which is called nocturnal. So we'll have a look at some examples. So this is an arctic fox, and you can see the arctic fox is perfectly camouflaged because of its white fur. Nice thick fur to keep warm. It's actually got relatively small ears, so it doesn't lose too much body heat as well. If you compare that to the fennec fox that lives in the desert, the fennec fox has actually got much larger ears. actually allows it to lose a little bit of heat. You'll notice that the colour of its fur is different as well. It's perfectly camouflaged to the surroundings. So there are two good examples of camouflage. In terms of heat loss, um, the elephant, you'll see the elephant's got no fur on it, even up to mammal, because it lives in a very, very warm environment. It's got these very, very large ears. And these large ears allow it to actually give out heat energy. So heat energy can actually be lost to the surroundings as a way of cooling down. It can also kind of fan itself and, and, and waft uh, the ears around to cool itself off. Um, this is an owl, so it's got very, very well adapted eyes for seeing at night time. So it's an example of a behavioral adaptation. It's nocturnal. It's got these big, big eyes so it can see well at night. We've got, um, and this is a little dormouse. So this is an example of hibernation. So some animals in the winter, they'll actually, for several weeks before they go to sleep, They'll eat low, a lot of food, build up fat stores, and then they'll basically go to sleep over the winter when food is scarce. And then when spring arrives and it warms up and food becomes more available, they wake up. A lot of animals, they use migration. So they actually migrate. So in winter in, in the UK, they might migrate over to Africa where it's warmer, they can feed up and rest up. And then they'll come back to the UK then in the spring and the summer where they'll reproduce. You get some species of fish migrate, whales, dolphins. And another good example of behavioural is the use of a pack. You know, being in these communities like lions. Lions have the pride, wolves have a pack, dolphins. And the benefit is you can hunt together um, and they're very, very social animals. So they hunt together, feed together, protect each other, protect their territory. So we've looked at some physical features, the morphological, and we've looked at some more behavioural adaptations that animals can adopt. But they're all really designed for one purpose, improve survival.